So you've seen many of your friends as well as voice actors and actresses doing Dungeons and Dragons and now you want to be part of it too. But where do you start? DICE! My name is Rusty Pylover and welcome to D&D training for all you new players out there getting ready to dive right into Dungeons and Dragons. But before you get started, you need to learn a few things. And the first thing you're going to learn is everything about Dice. So why exactly do you need to go out and purchase dice first? Dice form up a very crucial part of Dungeons and Dragons. Each dice has a specific role and every dice has a specific mechanic. This will impact not only your story and the choices you make, but also how your character is built. But we'll get to characters later. Right now we're gonna go through dice. What does the D mean? You may have heard the term 1d4, 2d6, 3d8. The d means dice. The number before the d indicates how many of that particular dice you need. And the number after the d explains the type of dice you need. That is how we as D&D players and Dungeon Masters explain how dice work and how they correlate their numbers together. Very first dice is a d2. Basically, it is a coin. D2s are for making quick decisions and mostly are used when you need to do a toss up between one choice or another choice or the dungeon master can also do a coin toss in case there is something that they need to decide what happens either in the story or it's a choice they need to make or there's a little gamble there's a whole lot of options. The D4 is a four sided pyramid that is mainly used for healing and dealing damage. These are especially prominent when you are playing a cleric or a bard or any character that uses healing potions. You will use 1d4 or 2d4 and going forward, but you might find certain spells that use a four-sided dice to roll for damage as well. Your d6 is a standard six-sided dice and this dice also can be used for healing or damage, but predominantly mostly applicable to damage, such as many of your damaging spells, like Dissonant Whispers. This will be one of your more commonly used dice for dealing damage with weapons as well. Your D8 is one of your higher damage dealing dice as well as very few cases where you might do some healing with it as well but your d8s are definitely some of your higher tier spells and weaponry that deals any kind of damage and you will be using the d8 as your character levels up past level four and upwards your d10 dice are split into two forms of d10 number one being your standard d10 which is numbered from one to zero zero being ten and this is to indicate that you are doing a metric truck ton of damage. However, it is used in conjunction with your percentile dice, which is numbered from 0, 0 to 90. You will use percentile dice for grabbing things out of mysterious bags or perhaps doing something from the deck of many things. These percentile dice are for you to roll for specific and very niche spells and incantations, also like divine intervention. The higher the roll, the better the chance. The lower the roll, the worse the chance. And vice versa, depending on your dungeon master and the gameplay rules. Your D12 is mostly just for damage, and this is when you really get up to the upper tier of spells and weaponry. And this is really the dice you want to be rolling, but you'll only be really seeing that dice at higher levels. The D20 is the most important dice in the bag because this is the dice that your Dungeon Master will let you roll if you need to do any kind of checks, saves, and more. Your D20 does not do any damage, however, it is probably the most sought after dice and they come in many shapes and colors. How many sets should you buy? By my standard, and this is just an opinion, you should buy three sets of dice to get you started. This will allow you to roll more than one of each dice, just in case you need to do 2d4 damage or healing. And that will increase with time because 
Disclaimer, a dice addiction is a very big thing. So if you're a new player and you are starting to build up your collection, I would highly recommend getting yourself a bag so you can store all of your beautiful dice in the bag. Hope you all enjoyed that. I hope I have explained the dice mechanics to you. And if you have any questions, please drop them down below. Look out for the very next video coming soon where we will be discussing Dungeons and Dragons terms for new players, such as insight, such as initiative, and many more. And if there's something specific you'd like me to discuss, leave it in the comment section. And if you enjoy any kind of D&D content, I've got a Baldur's Gate series right over there. And consider hitting the subscribe button for more content. Until then, I'll see you at the table.